apologize everyone for that. Um, that was awkward. Wasn't it little Chester? I blame, I blame Chester. The best part was that these kittens needed diarrhea medication, and I don't know how much of you follow, like, men's rights activists, but, um, it, well, I don't know why you would. Anyway, um, uh, one of the, I guess, better known men's rights activists, Paul Elam, his basically origin story is being a 13 year old boy and not taking his diarrhea medication. <laughs> that, that, that he, he himself has cited that as why he became an MRA because his mother forced him to take diarrhea medication. He was like, that's the last time anyone tells me what to do. <laughs> Best origin story and so fitting. Uh. Anyway, so these kittens um, could have turned into MRAs, but this morning, all of them took their diarrhea medication. Didn't you, Chester? Yes. Which is good, because he was a little bit weak yesterday. And I took them to the vet yesterday, and it was a big thing. It was so frustrating, and I won't go into it, because I'm still very upset about it. But uh, thankfully, they're on the mend, according to the vet. Um, no, he wasn't held down and beaten, uh, being beaten. It, his older brothers were holding him down to take his medicine, um, but the way that he describes it um, is being angry at his mother. So, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. It's a little bit more complicated than that, of course, but um, what I'm making fun of is Paul Elam's Paul Elam himself's interpretation of it. It's not about, you know, like his brothers were the one who, ones who were holding him down. They weren't beating him, um, but he's not angry at his brothers. He's angry at his mother for wanting him to take his um, diarrhea medication. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's, the, that's the fun thing. Uh, about this. It's his interpretation of those events. It could very well be. I mean, like, being held down as a child and being forced to take something, yeah, that's that's pretty traumatic. Um, but, um, whoops. Yeesh. Oh! Did you immediately add Paul Elam to your muted words? No! No, I didn't. Should I? Yay! Oh, not me? Oh, bless you! Little sneeze from Chester. Hello, little Chester. Hello, baby boy. Hello, my baby boy. Yes, you're such a good boy. No more good baby. No more good baby. Yes, it's a very good, very good kitten. Who wants some petting? When I first took them into the room, they were all trembling, but they aren't trembling anymore, so I think they were just a little bit nervous. Mm, and now you're back to normal? Even when I took them to the vet, they were in a box for two hours because of the uh, huge delay that happened that I'm still angry about. Um, but yeah, they were all chipper when I opened the box. I thought they'd be all scared and they wouldn't accept pats and things. But they did. And they still like me, don't you? <laughs> yes. How long have I had them? It will be a week, a week and one day. Did I get them Thursday or Friday? Hmm? Actually, I think I got them a week today. Isn't that exciting? You're a week older. And yes, so are you, Chester. No one is exempt from the passing of time. You're getting older and older. Yes, and you're climbing on my shoulder. Okay. Um, yeah, this, this is what's happened. Oh, <laughs> you might notice a scratch on my cheek. That's because, um, oh, Chester was climbing my face and fell down and grabbed onto my cheek with his claws to try and break his fall. I'm glad that he's safe, but my cheek did suffer. And now the others are 
trying to follow suit. Oh, you are right on the end of my hand, aren't you? You're going to jump down? Oh, jeez, this is precarious. Oh, gave me a little moustache. Oh, my God. Well, uh, I hope... At least he doesn't have diarrhea anymore, so I'm not worried about getting like a face full of, you know, leavings. <laughs> oh, jeez. Chester, you are fearless. You can say poo. <laughs> no, I can't. I'll get banned from Twitch. Oh. Ow, are you biting me? Why are you biting me, baby? That tickles. It tickles when you bite me, you know. Oh, sorry. Oh, dear. <laughs> He's an excited little wobbly baby. Okay, let's move the camera back and look at, look at little Beanie. Beanie, the little ball. The ball for Beanie. He's the quiet one. Mm. Although he and Ozzy seem to get on quite well. Look at that, no hissing at all. No hissing at all from little Billy. Yes, good boy. Mm. What a good baby boy you are. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yes, kittens hiss. And if you watch the first, um, the VOD, well, I mean, there'll be many VODs to choose from because we had the same technical difficulties where I kept uh, disconnecting with the stream last week. But if you check that out, uh, you will hear a lot of meowing. You'll hear a lot of hissing. Marshall will uh, launch himself at me. And there'll be a lot of poo everywhere, won't there, Billy? Some of it will be your poos. Oh, they moved that down again. Hello, Marshall. Hello, good boy. He's hmm. a good baby. He's my good baby boy. Yes, it's you. Yes, it's you, baby. I'm going to go hunt your friends. Oh, they're attacking my webcam again. Okay, let's fix that now. <clears throat> All right. Let me do this in a way that I can still see the, the stream. But you can still see what's going on. And you can also hopefully see a little kitten. Yes. Little Marshall. Yes. Yay! Yay! Oh, you're hiding! Oh, by the way, um, I can let you know that three out of four kittens have purred with, at me. The only one who I've not heard purring is Ozzy. Where have you gone, Marshall? I don't want to alarm you, Cav. I think there's a robot watching you. Oh, that's scary. Little robot. Doing, cat. All right, let's get this cable. Yes. And I think I'm going to wrap this cord around here. That's probably a terrible idea what I'm doing, but actually, hmm. Yeah, no, that's a terrible idea. <clears throat> okay, so. Ah. Let's lob all these together in a way that won't be attractive to kittens. So like move it all the way up to the, the top of the thing here. Oh, you okay, Ozzy? I think you're okay. I think you're just being a little baby. That's understandable. Hello, Chester. Who is that being? I think it's, it's a Chester doing there? Okay, let's use this cable. Are you all ready for streaming Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace tonight? That's gonna be fun. 
Should I have it up here? I feel like maybe I should have it in front of the heater. But then the kittens are gonna knock it over. Oh, okay. Sorry. I did this all wrong. Will there be French people? Oh, definitely. There will, there's always French people. That's what makes it so spooky. Oops. It's like that, and that's the way it is. There we go, I think that's probably good. <clears throat> okay, oh. oh dear, don't you dare, don't stop the stream. I'll be very cross. Yeah! Baby cat. Hello, my baby baby. Is Marshall going to do another poo? They seem a lot happier here. Like they were initially very, very <laughs> initially very, very frightened, but I think they're probably going to benefit from the, the bigger space. And also the floor isn't made out of tiles, so they probably won't get so cold. Which of these kittens are you keeping? None of you. Oh, not keeping you, Chester. You'll be the first to go. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Billy. Hello, Billy. It's my lovely baby cat. Mm. You want that pat? I'll go over and give Billy another pat. Where are you going, Chester? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're going to hunt your friends. Okay, we got a little wiggle going on here. The hunting wiggle. The wiggle of the hunter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just jumps like a little monkey. It's very cute. What are you even? Oh, oh, game meet game. <laughs> now they're like antelope. Bounding. Little bouncy kittens. Let's adjust our angle a little bit. Oh. 